you can fasten a seatbelt, you can do this job. Now, when you get your Bizene on kit, which means high beam, low beam, you're going to want to open it up, make sure all the parts are there, there are your instructions, there's your light bulb, make sure the silver part goes on top, and if you touch that light bulb, make sure you clean it with alcohol and a Q-tip because the grease on your fingers can reduce the performance. I'm not an electrical engineer, but here are all the parts. That looks like an extension. I did not have to use it for my particular motorcycle. I've sped up the film here because it takes, if you go slow, about an hour to do the whole job if your bike is fairly simple to work with. Here I am putting on the plastic waterproof housing on the new light bulb, being careful not to touch the light bulb itself with your fingers because the grease on your fingers will in fact affect the performance of the light bulb. If you do happen to touch it, just clean it off with some alcohol. Here I am loading stuff through the back of the lighting housing and carefully adjusting the things inside the lighting housing. Don't forget your light bulb and your light fixture is going to have to go back in there. So make sure you leave plenty of room for that. Now as far as plugging everything in that comes with your bi xenon kit, that is so simple you won't believe it. You can basically only plug it in one way. Like each thing makes complete sense. It's very, very simple. And I'll show you later where I hid my stuff on the behind lighting housing. And of course you're going to want to test it to make sure it works before you pack everything back into that lighting housing and don't look into the light bulb like I just did. Bad idea. After you've negotiated where you're going to put everything, plug it in one last time and then you are ready to place the light bulb back in the housing and secure it to the lighting bracket. notice I look at things several times before I plug it in and never force anything. There is a right way and a wrong way to do things. Forcing is not the right way. Once the light is put back together, test it against a wall with high beam and low beam and you're all set. Good luck.